city has the most graffiti? It's New York. It's always been New York, right? But what, what about now, homie? That shit's a graffiti fucking... We, we just made ourselves the biggest graffiti capital of the fucking world. Who's going to fucking... That's just like... Someone, someone disagrees with that. That's just like saying that Michael Jackson wasn't the most famous entertainer in the world or fucking Thriller ain't the shit. Till this day. No, anyone that says Thriller, the song Thriller in the video ain't the shit, they're fucking out of their mind, bro. And that's, that's what I'm saying. That's a dope-ass fucking... Um, those buildings are tight, bro. I wish I was up there, you know? Butcher, you've had an incredible history. Almost over 30 years. You've seen it all. What are your feelings on today's graffiti culture in Los Angeles overall? What do you see on the streets? Dude, these kids don't give a fuck, bro. I don't... These kids don't... Look. Um, it's funny. We're... <laughs> Me and the homie were going to go catch a train. That's why I was like acting like I'm all innocent and like burn myself. Bring in our, my stunt double to go catch a, catch a train, bro. We go through that, the second street tunnel, bro. And there's like three heavy set dudes kicking it there. Two dudes watching them painting this fucking. It was like at 9 o'clock at night. I'm like, this was a, these was cops run. They're not going to be able to get away from the cops, bro. We pass through, and I look back, bro. I see three fucking LAPD squad cars behind us that just passed through the tunnel. They didn't fuck with those dudes, bro. And so that's, I don't get it, bro. Like, and like, I'm like, I, I, like, I remember a few years ago, this is like 10 years ago, me and Prone wanted to go catch some tags, bro. Just catch some tags in my neighbor, some throwies on some grills. In my neighbor, down like a block away from my house, bro. I know where Maintain used to be. Mm -hmm. I lived down the street from there, maintained where it used to be on Sunset. And we went to go catch a wall, and the cops passed. Like, what the fuck? You couldn't even catch a tag, bro. We ended up hitting up on Bulan, the Thai restaurant. Because mm. <laughs> was, it was hot, bro. So kids are either ballsy, able to risk a prison term, you know what I mean? Or they're letting people out of county. But kids don't give a fuck now, you know what I mean? So that's all I can say about that. And the progression's a little bit different. I'm starting to see wild style um, billboards. That's new. That's all like the past two or three years. You know what I mean? Are there any current artists that you see in this era that you enjoy seeing up that are catching your eye and doing something different? First of all, Mame, Triple A, Nivik, Triple A, Free Nivik. Right now, he's, he's got three years on me. You know what I mean? Hopefully, they'll give him less. Um, those, I guess those NBC kids, um, whoever's catching those fucking, um, the hopes, first of all. I think I know him from back in the days because he's homies with my homie Search, rest in peace, AOB. Um, yeah, the kid that's hitting up those fucking... Sick, um, NBC. Yeah, he's, he's also sick. Long ass rollers, anyone who's doing all that shit, I'm like, oh, fuck. Because, like, actually, I caught the highest spot, to my knowledge, in L.A., bro, back in 99, the highest heaven, and it's because youth from YR, and sorry to backtrack, I know we're on a different subject, brought me over the 5 freeway oh, right over... Right there in Frogtown, right before the Home Depot, where it goes over the river. And then his dad's a cop, so the cops came and he's oh shit, and got all scared and dipped out. So I didn't get to finish my piece, so I got mad and went back the next day and went back to the middle of the fucking river. So if anyone gets a photo of that, please send it to me. I did an eyeball in a, in a, in a CR for Crane over the LA River, fucking 400, 300 feet, whatever that is, over the LA River. I'm the only one that I know that went all the way out there back in 99 and it got buffed for the Democratic um, Convention or whatever. But yeah, um, nowadays it's those kids that are doing those heavens and shit. Like, um, were you talking about talent wise or are you referring to both like, skills and stuff? I don't see as many, I'm just not to be real, I don't see kids here as many, and I don't know the age bracket of who's doing what, but I don't see as many kids pushing the envelope as I would like to see it. But kids are getting up, bro, with their shit, and they're incorporating more wild style graffiti into their fucking um, bombing, which I think is dope. But I'm not seeing as much, like, productions and shit, like, you know what I mean, full spending mad time. It's all people that I already know that are doing pieces and like I said that's a generation older than me because my generation was all tag bangers and shit you know what I mean again you've had an incredible history can you please name some of the female writers throughout the years that you've seen or that have caught your attention are there any that come to mind that have made an impact fuck dude I don't want to get, you know, fucking my girl get pissed, bro. They throw pussy at me all day, bro. Like certain, I'm not going to mention their names because, you know what I mean? But I, I just remember one chick, bro. 
from OTR. I'm not going to say who she is because I got other homies from OTR. I was like, you don't like me? I'm like, I'm drunk. I didn't drink. And I'm like, drunk. Come on, girl. I'm drunk because I just didn't. wasn't into it like that. You know what I mean? It was all like I got, instead of like it being a writer thing, um, my f first baby mama was a writer too. You know what I mean? Um, and there's a lot of shit behind that and other dudes that like them and shit. You know what I mean? And, and that's all that politics. You know what I mean? But I, yeah, I, I tried to veer away from that type of shit. But respect for chicks and their style. I'll tell you straight up. Who's cool? I, and for recently, that chick Jism, mm, yeah, she's getting up and she's hitting up like kind of peace quality shit. So I give her props on that shit. You know what I mean? So, but I don't know her personally. We never kicked this shit like that. Um, I don't know many LA chick writers. It's always been a different kind of dynamic with them and me also avoiding them because of who they hang out with and shit. Because I never wanted the wrong. And 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 another note like. My my wife, bro, she's like a, I don't know, like a Nostradamus, bro. She don't like, she don't chime with other chicks in my attention, so I don't even get go there, you know what I mean? I'm very, like, loyal to her and shit like that.